Hey folks, Anisha here, and I've got a GitHub feature for you to check out. So if you've been following along the GitHub change log posts, you've seen all of the amazing new features that we've shipped recently. And let me tell you, we've been shipping a ton of features. But for these videos, we'll be hearing more from the folks that have actually built these features and see a demo of them too. So today I'm joined with Miriam, who'll be giving us a little bit of an insight into what's been going on in the world of secret scanning. Miriam, over to you. Hi, I'm Miriam, and I'm the product manager on Secret Scanning. Secret Scanning recently released user-defined patterns uh, in beta on cloud, and user-defined patterns has been one of the most requested features by customers, both prospective and current. Secret Scanning itself is an exciting feature that's integrated within the GitHub experience, but previously users had to rely on GitHub to add support for each service they used. And this really limited flexibility for our customers looking to scan patterns ranging from internal credentials to other services that we don't currently support. And that's where user-defined patterns comes in, allowing us to deliver a product wherein our users have much greater autonomy. And this new feature is available, as I said, in beta for private repos within organizations with GitHub Advanced Security enabled. So let's get into it. I'll run you through a quick little demo here. I'm in my repository. I'll go ahead and add a file. Let's name it something a little random. So here I'll just add in, let's say this is my secret pattern and I will just commit this file just so we have something to run a test against. Now, if I go into the settings page on my repository, You'll see security analysis on the left side panel. Give that a tap. So we're in the security and analysis page of our repository. Scroll down to GitHub Advanced Security. Make sure secret scanning is enabled here. And you should see custom patterns and you could click add a secret scanning custom pattern and it'll take you to this page. You can name your pattern. I'll just name this Miriam's pattern. And here you define your regex. This is the format for my secret pattern, something like that, quick and simple for now. And we can go into the test string and test out some of our patterns to check if they match. You also can click into more options to define um, things you want before or after your secret and as well as additional match requirements. So for example, I can specify that I want just lower cases and maybe I'll add a requirement that we can't have any numbers. And you can see that the test field updates with the highlighting based off of your test strings. And this looks good to me, so I can just go ahead and create my custom pattern. Now I see my custom patterns here. I just created this one. I can tap into it and check out everything I defined for my pattern. To see if my secret scanning picked up on any of these patterns, I can click on over into the security tab here and I can see that there is an alert. Going down to secret scanning alerts, I can click view detected secrets and there we go. It matched with a pattern in my test file. And from here you can take any action you want as you normally would with our secrets. So for example, marking as false positive, revoked, open. And this was an example on the repo level, but um, you can also do this on the org level. It will create the pattern and scan all repositories with GitHub advanced security enabled. So you have the repo option and the org level option here. Great. Thanks so much for sharing, Miriam. I absolutely love this. <laughs> um, so I've got a couple questions for you then. What kinds of patterns are supported here? Right, so user-defined patterns for secret scanning are specified as regular expressions. And secret scanning uses the hyperscan library and only supports hyperscan regex constructs, which are a subset of the PCRE syntax. So this means we don't support all regex cons constructs, but you can learn more about the hyperscan pattern constructs in our documentation for user-defined patterns, which is also linked in our tools. So for example, if you go back to your settings, your security analysis, when you're creating your custom pattern, you can click on this handy learn more URL and that will take you to our document page and you can scroll down to find pattern support right here. And that will take you to the hyperscan documentation to learn more about what types of patterns are and are not supported. 
Great. So what's next in user-defined patterns? I'd love to know what, what you've got under the hood. Yeah, so we've launched in beta on cloud um, almost two weeks ago. And this means that before user-defined patterns is generally available, we do have some work to do. So one of the experiences that is still to come is an editing experience where users can go back and actually edit their custom patterns. Currently, if you want to change a pattern, you'll have to delete and recreate it. We're also looking to create a disable feature that will allow users to disable specific patterns for secret scanning as they see fit. And lastly, in the long run, we aim to have a dry run experience that will allow users to test their patterns before creation and therefore um, before we scan and before we generate alerts. Great, fantastic. So folks, go ahead and check out this feature and let us know what you think about it. You can hit us up on Twitter, leave your comments down below, or even leave your questions on support community as well. So thanks again, Miriam, and stay tuned for more checkout videos coming your way very soon.